Hello and welcome to the Foley Society Reviews. Here I have The Victorians by A. N. Wilson. This book was published in 2002 and it is bound in buckram in a very impressive design. Definitely one of the most impressive books I own uh, from the Foley Society, which are uh, standard editions. And this book is blocked with the design by David Pearson. But here is the spine. You can even see my reflection in from my hand on the back room. So I have one issue with the binding uh, of this book. Uh, it is the flat spine here, as you can see it's not very rounded and uh, a flat spine with a weak and soft board tend to bend inwards uh, when you lay the book down and open it up. So the spine will probably bend a bit like this instead of uh, like this. So this can be an issue with th these kinds of books uh, that are uh, this big and uh, have a soft spine, but otherwise a very fine binding. Let's open the book up. Uh, we have green, uncoated, textured, thick and papers, uh, very standard to the Full Society books. Here is the title page. And this book was uh, published first by the Full Society in 2008. And this is a second printing 2014. And the book is printed on Abbey Wobe paper, bound and printed in Germany. And here are all of the contents. As you can see that the book is divided into different parts with the early Victorian, the 1850s, the 1860s, the 1880s and the 1890s. And here's also the list with all of the illustrations and there are a lot of them. I will show all of the illustrations but I will not spend much time on each one, uh, which might be understandable when you see uh, the amount here. And the book also comes with a preface to the Fully Society edition, which is neat uh, by the author, and also preface to the 2002 edition. And then the book begins and you can directly see here the text size uh, which is fairly big uh, absolutely above the medium in size and the abu wallpaper is very velvet smooth uh, cream colored of course uh, acid free ph neutral uh, but the thickness of the paper is um, also uh, very standard for the full site it, uh, it's not too thick it leaves a bit bleed through uh, but not much but it's definitely thick enough to uh, give a uh, pleasurable reading experience. But now let's check out the illustrations. Enjoy!
and the illustrations are printed on a coated photo paper uh, so very thick very good paper for uh, these kinds of illustrations and uh, at the end we have an index and there are 676 pages in this book and at the end we have the same end papers and here we can see the Smithson binding the green headband and the spine is uh, a bit rounded but like I said earlier it can cause a bit trouble uh, when the spine lays down since it can uh, bend inwards like you can see here a bit And the book itself opens up extremely well. Uh, no problem whatsoever, exactly what you would expect from a massive book like this. And for the slipcase, we get a photograph here uh, of a street in London uh, in 1896. The slipcase is also extended at the top and the bottom. Uh, so it's a pretty nice uh, slipcase, otherwise green, a paperboard slipcase with the photograph. I want to thank Shankar and Belg for requesting this book for review. If you have any questions about this book or any book in my collection then please leave a comment and I will answer it as quickly as I can. If you want to support this channel you can do so in two ways. You can go to my Patreon page or you can use my Touchin affiliate link uh, which you will find uh, down below in the description. But uh, thank you all so much for watching and I hope I will see you all next time. Goodbye.